Hey guys, Pablo with PND, and today on Top Reddit Post, we're gonna be taking a look at Entitled Parents Party Crashers. It's my home, my party, my rules. I posted this on r slash child free, but I feel it belongs in here too. It is not the most outrageous Entitled Parents story, but there is still some entitlement in it, so enjoy. I edited a bit for mistakes and clarity. I own an apartment, and the last four years I was unable to pay the mortgage on my own, so I had roommates. I had a great raise a few months ago, which means I was able to tell the roommate to find another place to live. I've spent the last few years without having friends over, and I wanted to celebrate by hosting a small party. I sent my invitations, everyone says they'll be there, and an acquaintance told me he has a new girlfriend and asked me if she could come. I saw no issues. I was wrong. Few hours before the party, the new girlfriend, let's call her Karen, texted me saying she could not find any babysitter. I told her to ask my best friend if they could share her babysitter, but she told me the kids didn't get along. I was surprised because my best friend's kid is sweet and wants to be friends with everyone. I told Karen I was sorry, but I didn't want kids at my party, and all of our friends were stoked to leave their kids at home for us. She didn't reply, so I assumed she was mad. Few hours later, few quality people showed up at the door, and were having fun, until acquaintance and his girlfriend Karen arrived with her three kids. I wasn't happy, but well, I let them in, but I wanted to talk with Karen, so I took her aside. I told you this was not a party with kids. I know, but my kids are well behaved and I wanted to meet everyone. Acquaintance always talking about his wonderful friends. Okay, let the kids play in the spare room. Karen went on to set up her kids in the room, but soon came back. Where are the toys for them? Toys? I don't have any, I don't have any kids. How do you expect me to entertain them? You didn't bring anything? No, there's always toys wherever I go. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know what to do. Could you set up your PC in the spare room? Gosh, no, this PC is brand new, and I won't let a kid play with it. I began to feel upset. She was keeping me away from my friends and made a deal with her issues concerning her kids. So I told her to find a solution on her own, and she gave them her phone to play with. A few moments later, someone rolled a joint and almost everyone followed. It is perfectly legal where I live. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? There's a kid in here. Well, they weren't supposed to be here, so... Hey, this is a 420 friendly home. This is my place. I kinda do whatever I want, you know. Can you please at least go outside? I'm sorry, but neighbors like to sleep with their windows open, so I don't want to bother them with the noise and the smell. What kind of person are you? Thinking about the well-being of your neighbors, but don't give a damn about my kids? You're a freaking moron. A child hater. I was pissed off at this point. You know what, Karen? This is my home, my party, my rules, and I'll do whatever the hell I want here. You already broke the no kids rule. I went with it, but who are you to tell me and my guests not to smoke in my home? I'm sorry, buddy, but I need to ask you, Karen, and the kids to leave. I would like you to stay, but she's not welcome anymore. Hey, if you want to stay, bro, I'll give you a ride home. So acquaintance stayed. Karen and her kids went home and they broke up a few weeks later. We had a blast as soon as she left. P.S. Sorry, English isn't my first language. Hey guys, I'll tell you this. When someone tells you no kids in the party, don't bring your kids. Um, unless you discuss with them first and they, by some reason they say it's okay and they have a place. And if they do that for you, because you never know if a person gonna have toys, in the most if they don't have kids, just be nice when people make allowance for you. Entitled mom calls police in my roommate. This happened about 20 years ago. I shared a house with three other guys. On New Year's Eve, we decided to have a party and were planning to have about a dozen people over. All of us and our guests 
are about 30 years of age, so of course there was lots of booze on hand. About 8 p.m. my roommate's sister shows up with her three kids, who are between 5 and 10 years old, wanting him to babysit because they decided at the last minute to go out, and it is impossible to find a babysitter on New Year's Eve. He told her he couldn't babysit because we're having a party. Also, that he couldn't watch the kids because we had been drinking for about 3 hours. She said that he should tell everyone to leave because it was more important for her to go out. She also said that it was fine because he would sober up quickly. He refused and closed the door on her. About 20 minutes later, the police arrived because his sister called in saying that he refused to let the kids in the house and made them sit in the front porch when it was about 10 degrees outside because he was allegedly throwing a party for underage people. About 8 or so officers entered the house demanding to see my roommate. When he identified himself, he was handcuffed and told he was being arrested for endangering the welfare of three minors. Needless to say, after the police were told what was going on and checking the ID of everyone in the house, they weren't too happy with his sister. She was charged and convicted with filing a false police report. As far as I know, they've never spoken to each other since that night. I'll tell you guys, you can choose your friends, but you cannot choose your family. And never do something crazy as to leave your kids outside and just assume someone gonna watch them. Let me come to your birthday party with a baby. He won't be in the way. I'll just lock him up in your bedroom and check on him every now and then. I am child free. As such, kids are banned at my apartment, which I own. If you're 15 or below, you cannot enter my apartment unless I give you an exception, depending on where I know for a fact that you're well behaved or not. Any roommates that I allow to move in with me have to sign a lease that includes the ban on children in the apartment. A few years ago, one of my roommates was planning a birthday party. One of her co-workers, with whom she was friends but not close, wanted to come and she wanted to bring her baby with her. Not a toddler, but almost newborn baby. My roommate kindly explained to this woman, title mom or EM from No Now, that children are not welcome at our apartment and that this would be a party for grown-ups anyway. We're in our 30s, though at this time we're in our late 20s. And title mom suggests a compromise. She'll bring her baby, then lock him up in my roommate's bedroom, unattended, then go and enjoy the party with everyone else while intermittently checking in the baby every now and then. Of course, I declined his compromise. For one thing, we don't have a crib in our apartment and my roommate's room does not have anything that could contain and keep safe a curious baby that may crawl around and get hurt if left unattended for long periods of time. For another, this child was near newborn. SIDS is a thing. And if you leave your child unattended for long periods of time, by the time you find it dead from SIDS, it will be beyond sane. Also, I do not want the smell of baby poo in my apartment. My roommate declined the M very kindly, and she freaked the hell out. She started harassing my roommate at work with dirty looks, snide comments and even making up lies. They had to be moved to different shifts in different parts of the building, so they'd never see each other. The LDR version, EM demands to be able to attend my roommate's birthday party, tries to rope us into becoming accessories to child neglect and child abuse, had to go into hiding so blood Pierce, who are after her nephew, didn't murder her. Added, got the term wrong, toddler, not near newborn, the kid was around one year old. Alright guys, I'll just say this one thing. If you have small kids, it's okay. You may lose a couple of parties for a year or so, but that's fine. Kids are more important. If you think that going to a party is more important than your own kids, then you need to really, really rethink your life choices. Mom and son trespass on private property to play games at my bar mitzvah. So, a few years ago I was having my bar mitzvah. A bit of backstory. For all you non-Jewish people, a bar mitzvah is a ceremony where you become an adult by reading from the Torah, 
kind of like the Jewish Bible. You have to memorize a ton of Hebrew, but you get a massive party for doing it. At my party, my parents let me have a game truck with Smash for Wii U on it, which was awesome because at the time I only had Brawl on my Wii. So I did the ceremony fine and went to the party. The food was really good, but I pretty much skipped it to get to the Wii U. So I started playing the Wii U with a few cousins when a random kid, EK, showed up. He demanded to play the Wii U, but we told him he had to wait his turn. I was slightly confused, because I didn't know him, but I assumed he was a family member's kid. So my cousin left the game so the kid could play, and I asked him where he was from, and he told me where he was from. I got worried because I knew all my family in this city, so I asked him who I was, because if he knew who I was, that meant he was allowed to be here, but he said he didn't know me. Once the game was over, I asked him to show me where his mom was, so he pointed at a lady, EM, who was across the street watching him. I walked over and asked her who she was, and this is where everything went horribly wrong. I live a few blocks down, and me and my kid were walking down when we saw the game, so I decided he could play. Actually, that's a game truck for my bar mitzvah. He's not allowed to be there because it's private property. Let's see how real you are. Why do you care anyway? Well, one, your son would be trespassing and therefore breaking the law, and two, because it's my bar mitzvah. I don't know what a bar mitzvah is, and I don't believe you. EM went to the game truck and asked the guy running it if it was on private property, and he said yes. The EM said that he was lying and decided to go into the synagogue, kinda like a Jewish church, to prove it. She was immediately confronted by security, telling her she had to leave, and she got super upset. Well, my kid is already here, so there's nothing you can do. Ma'am, your son would be trespassing, and you would have to pay a huge fine. I suggest you leave immediately before we call the cops. How dare you? My son's a beautiful child and deserves to play games too. You're just harassing me because I am a woman. The security called the police and they came pretty quick because they're close by. What's going on here? This woman's trespassing on private property. This monster is discriminating me and my son because I'm a woman. This disgusting man should be put in jail. After that, I explained to the police officers that she was lying and they were escorted out. A few weeks later again, I was riding home on the bus after helping out at the synagogue and ran into her on the bus. She immediately recognized me and started to try to beat me up. However, she was really weak and was just kicked off the bus. Hey guys, I don't... I, hey guys, I know you know that already, but you can't just crash on somebody's party. And most of the times, if someone that works in a place tells you that it is private property, it probably is private property. So don't be that guy or that woman, alright? And I will tell you what, if you feel you're acting just like one of those entitled parents, you should record whatever you're gonna tell them on your phone and play it back to yourself. If you think it sounds stupid when you play it back, it's because it is stupid. So guys, I hope you liked the video today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notifications button, leave us a comment and a thumbs up. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.